When the skies above a battlefield are as dangerous as the ground below, how do you protect your troops? That's the urgent question facing military forces in the Russia-Ukraine war. In just one day, hundreds of drones, missiles, and loitering munitions can crisscross the skies, each one a potential threat to soldiers, vehicles, and infrastructure on the ground. Ukraine, backed by Western allies, has built a layered air defense system using foreign-supplied platforms like NASAMS, IRIS-T, and Patriot. But Russia? It's leaning heavily on its own domestic arsenal, and one system has become especially critical, the Panzer. Now Russia is taking that system to the next level. In March 2025, the Russian army officially rolled out the Panzer SMSV, the first tracked variant of its well-known air defense family. Deployed to the high-risk Kursk border region, this advanced platform signals a shift in Russian military thinking toward greater mobility, precision, and battlefield integration. But what does this new Panzer actually bring to the table? Stay tuned. The original Panzer S-1 system was widely used by Russian forces and exported globally, known for its ability to shoot down drones, aircraft, and even cruise missiles. But it had its flaws. Mounted on a wheeled chassis, it had a high center of gravity and struggled in rough terrain. In places like Ukraine, where battles rage through mud, snow, and broken urban landscapes, that's a big problem. To fix this, Russia began developing a tracked version in the early 2020s. The result is the Panzer SMSV, built by the Maitishchi machine building plant under Rostec's high precision systems holding. This version is mounted on a GM 352M1E or GM 5970 tracked chassis, giving it the ability to move with armored columns through difficult terrain, side by side with tanks and infantry fighting vehicles. At the heart of the Panzer SMSV is a powerful new radar, the 1RS23 Active Electronically Scanned Array. This system can track objects as small as one square meter at distances of up to 60 kilometers with a maximum detection range of 75 kilometers. It's also jam resistant, a crucial upgrade in an era of electronic warfare and stealthy threats like small drones. But the real punch comes from its weapons. The 57E6M missile is a two-stage interceptor that can fly at Mach 5.5 and hit targets as far as 35 to 40 kilometers away. It uses the Zavesa hit-to-kill warhead, designed to neutralize everything from ballistic warheads to fast-moving drones with surgical precision. For smaller threats, it carries the 19 ya 6 missile, specifically developed to engage low-flying drones at ranges up to 7 kilometers. This is a direct response to the growing use of loitering munitions and FPV kamikaze drones, which have become one of the most lethal weapons in the Ukraine war. Backing up the missile systems are twin 30mm autocannons, which provide a high rate of fire for close-in defense. The system can engage up to 16 targets per minute, giving it a rapid response edge when overwhelmed by swarming drones or saturation missile attacks. The first operational deployment of the Panzer SMSV was confirmed in Kursk, a key border region with Ukraine, and a frequent target of drone and missile strikes. Field imagery shows these systems dug into fortified static positions, surrounded by Gabian walls, an indication that Russia is using them for area defense around critical infrastructure. While confirmed combat footage is limited, the move fits a broader pattern. Russia is increasingly using layered air defense networks to protect not just strategic sites, but also frontline units, logistics hubs, and armor formations on the move. Paired with long-range systems like the S-400 and Buck M3, the Panzer SMSV forms the short to medium range layer of Russia's defense bubble. Its mobility allows it to adapt to the fluid front lines of modern warfare, something older systems on wheels couldn't manage.
Even though the SMSV is new, the Pansier family already has a track record in this conflict. On February 1st, for instance, the Russian Ministry of Defense released footage of a Pansier S-1 shooting down a Ukrainian drone in the Kursk region. And throughout the war, Pansier systems have been deployed extensively to guard troop positions, airfields, and command centers, operating day and night against a range of threats. These earlier models showed they could handle everything from UAVs to cruise missiles, and their success likely laid the foundation for the tracked SMSV's design. While the new system hasn't seen as much battlefield action yet, expectations are high. So, why is this deployment such a big deal? The Panzer SMSV isn't just another new weapon. It's part of a doctrinal shift in how Russia thinks about air defense. In the past, air defense systems were often siloed, assigned to protect specific targets. But today's threats move fast, hit hard, and come from all directions. Russia's response? Build mobile, integrated, all-domain defenses. That's exactly what the Panzer SMSV is designed for. The Panzer SMSV was first shown off at military exhibitions and parades, but its entry into active service in 2024 and 2025 shows that Russia is serious about keeping up with the pace of battlefield innovation. As drone warfare continues to evolve and missile saturation attacks become the norm, systems like this may become the new standard for frontline air defense. But here's the big question. Can systems like the Pantsir SMSV truly keep up with the fast-moving, drone-saturated battlefields of today? Or are they already a step behind in a game that's evolving faster than ever? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.